हाय दोस्तों सो so, स्वागत है आपका मिड नाइट टू माइल में मैं आपका होस्ट राकेश और आज जो हमारे गेस्ट हैं वो है एक डिफरेंट फील्ड से आ रहे हैं उनका नाम है परक्षित सो so, चलिए उनसे बात करते हैं और उनकी जर्नी के बारे में जानते हैं सो वेलकम टू मिड नाइट टू माइल स्टोन परक्षित हाउ यू फीलिंग या हाई राकेश आई एम फीलिंग वेरी ग्रेट एंड वेरी एनर्जेटिक एज वेल लाइक सो लोगों को मैंने आपके बारे में बताया दैट यू आर कमिंग फ्रॉम सम डिफरेंट फील्ड सो यू वॉन्ट शेयर समथिंग टू माई व्यूअर Yeah, so basically, I'm a researcher in the field of nanotechnology and uh, also sustainable materials. Okay. All right. So you wanna say anything about your journey, like how, from where you're coming and uh, which field you studied and everything? So I come from different places. Like I have born and brought up in Nagpur okay. uh, with my grandparents. Mm-hmm. Uh, my childhood was with my grandfather. Then I went to uh, Jharkhand, a place called Chatra. It's a small town. I have did my high school there. Then I came to to complete my graduation. I came to Bhuneshwar, uh, Bhuneshwar, Odisha, where I did my B Tech in mechanical engineer. Then uh, after I came to Bangalore for uh, for like six months. Then I went for my master studies in in Pondicherry University, which is in Pondicherry. Mm-hmm. There I completed my completed my M Tech in the field of green energy technology, and. currently i am working as a researcher in the field of nanotechnology and sustainable materials okay so are uh, basically nagpur se hai aur jharkhand se uh both the way i can say i am from india <laughs> because i have traveled like almost uh, half of the country and have spent most of the time like 4 years in odisha 4 years in like almost 15 more than 15 20 years in nagpur then few years in jharkhand and Three, two years in Pondicherry okay. and almost three years in Bangalore. So, आप अपने जमाने में लाइक किस तरह के स्टूडेंट थे? आप व्यूअर को सही करना चाहेंगे? That uh, you are a backbenchers or you are a पढ़ाई वाला स्टूडेंट थे? Um, I was a backbencher even though I was not very really great in my uh, not even the school. I was not very really great student. Like uh, if I'll say properly, like uh, I just scored forty eight percent in my tenth. <laughs> and also just sixty percent in my twelfth. Uh, and if I say for my B Tech, it was a pretty good. Like I have achieved, like uh, not achieved, like I have increased my uh, score. I have reached up to seven point five CGPA. Mm-hmm. And uh, in my M Tech, I have went up to eight point three CGPA. In so M-tech. yeah. So like, uh, if if you can see my career, uh, like career growth, like not career growth, like my academics growth, like it was increasing. It's so that is what what i am proud of like if i will see many toppers which i see in my schooling days they'll score like 90% or something 90 to 100 or maybe sometimes they'll score 10 cgpa but if you'll see them now you will not find them anywhere <laughs> okay so as in this is like uh, nowadays what happened people are coming for it jo ko leke yeah mostly you can say like huh. everyone is going behind the it job it jobs yeah. only सो आपको ऐसा क्या चीज़ है जो इंस्पायर किया दैट यू आर इन रिसर्च एरिया सो इट वॉज वेरी क्लियर इन माई माइंड दैट आई वॉन्ट टू डू ए मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर इवन दो लाइक वेन आई आई टोल्ड यू लाइक आई जस्ट स्कोर फोर्टी एट परसेंट इवन दो लाइक दैट टाइम एवरी वन इन माई होम वॉज लाइक वॉट विल डू आफ्टर टेकिंग साइंस बट आई स्टैंड अप फॉर मी एंड आई वेंट फॉर लाइक आई वॉन्ट टू डू आई वॉन्ट टू टेक साइंस एंड आई विल गो फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर आई विल गो फॉर इंजीनियरिंग एंड दैट टू पर्टिकुलरली फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग and in mechanical engineer uh, when we are studying mechanical engineering we have one subject called material science that no one likes it <laughs> <laughs> it is one of the boring subject like everyone says you if you'll know. ask most of the mechanical engineers like 90 to 95% will say it's one of the boring subject in mechanical engineering they'll just say oh, i just want to get pass in that subject everyone will be like and how i got the curiosity about that subject is like Uh, I got one book uh, is written by uh, William Callister, uh, material uh, material science and engineering by William William Callister. Mm-hmm. And if you remember in two thousand nineteen, uh, even though I'm a very big fan of Iron Man, okay. and the way he works in his lab, I really like about that. And mm-hmm. uh, from that, I had an interest to work, obviously in the mechanical engineer, okay. and. Uh, also grab some interest uh, in robotics engineering because of the extracurricular activities because um, that happened in my colleges in my college and uh, also my roommate helped me uh, to work in field of robotics engineer 
एंड रिया व्यक्ति सो ऐसा कुछ चीज़ें हैं जो आप हमारे व्यूवर्स को शेयर करना चाहेंगे दैट इफ दे वांट टू कम इन अ सेम फील्ड रिसर्चर सो इन द फील्ड ऑफ रिसर्च लाइक हाउ टू द प्रिफेबल कैंडिडेट विल बी लाइक बेसिकली दे शुड हैव सम मास्टर डिग्री दे शुड कंप्लीट एटलीस्ट वन मास्टर डिग्री सो आफ्टर कम्प्लीटिंग बी टेक आफ्टर कम्प्लीटली बैचलर इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू गेट इन टू रिसर्च जॉब so uh, because uh, how the masters program is designed you have 6 month of uh, research based project uh, you have to complete or you have to write a thesis which is not in uh, mtech or like most of the beach, uh, bachelors which is not included included till now so uh, that is one of the thing that they uh, com- uh, research job re- requires mm-hmm. jo aane wala future hai aapka in this field same field kya benefits hai so uh, the thing is uh, i am loving my job i am doing what i want to do uh, like just uh, running behind like a what do i say uh, first i will tell like uh, i really like my job yeah. what i do in my la- in, like i don't have a routine job first of all yeah. i don't have to do the same task every day i don't sit yeah. in front of a desk like uh, for 8 to 10 hours i work in I'll work in a lab Uh, we do research about materials mostly nano materials we study the mechanical like uh, material properties of the materials and we try to generate some sustainable materials or mm. green materials for clean energy and uh, replacement of uh, uh, some toxic materials which are widely used in the current uh, ja, like current environment which is widely used so we are trying to reduce them to in the terms of like we are trying to replace them with the clean materials and it should be sustainable that wow. that is our main main focus in the lab okay. and uh, if you will say why i am not in the field of it yeah. so is like uh, even it was very difficult f- for me initially to uh, like it was almost 6 month i didn't got a job after completing my mtech as well so at that time it was very difficult i had a choice to join uh, uh, as a robotics uh, robotics engineer in one of the startup company in bangalore or i had another option uh, like my, my brother has given me a chance or he was supporting me or he was giving me the advice like data uh, data analyst or data scientist is one of the coming future yeah, so you can go and do some training and you can get a job so that was the uh, last option for me if uh, but for 4 to 5 months i didn't ha- have a job even after completing my mtech okay. uh, then i got a job and then i like it's pretty good till now so after, uh, after completing after completing your amtech also kya aapko like 6 month laga job pane mein yeah almost 6 month because uh, this is very uh, like niche area where we are working on mm-hmm. is one of the niche area that we are working on uh, so very few companies are there who are working on that or mostly there are research labs which are based on like mostly in iits or iisc or there are some government based lab like jnc mm. or uh, sens nilmangla or you can say uh, csir labs so which are very limited limited seats are available there so what's your future planning then aapka india mein rehna like india mein rehke job karna hai or like outside of india jana hai aapko job karne ke liye lekin as a same field and a researcher as of now i have a, uh, i'm working in india and i'm lacking my job current basically and um, future plans i'll don't know where i'll go uh, we'll see <laughs> as of now, i don't want to share right now okay. uh, but i'll see where it will it will take me so bahut acha laga baat karke bas ek cheez main aapse last puchna chahunga agar aap share karna chahenge to kyunki ek jo mindset hai aaj ki yuva ki generations ka वो पता नहीं क्यों वहाँ पे जाके अटक ही जाता है सो डू यू वांट टू योर सैलरी पार्ट लाइक व्हाट यू आर गेटिंग राइट नाउ एज यू नो लाइक दे इज लाइक एवरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैव द क्लॉज वी कैन शेयर दैट इन पब्लिकली आई कैन से आई एम अर्निंग डिसेंट एंड आई एम रियली लविंग वॉट आई एम डूइंग सो आई एम नॉट मच बॉदर अबाउट माई लाइक salary so passion. passion yeah that is uh, really better for so me and uh, uh, i'm really enjoying what i'm doing and it's not like i'm just following the rat race in bangalore 
because if you'll see most of the people just come right. they'll go for it jobs it only it yeah, yeah. no in bangalore only it yeah. if people are coming they'll go for it if they won't get it they'll go for other field like as people are going for recruitment any other yeah yeah some areas. yeah some of the placement has came to my colleges as well similar like i think uh, us staffing you mentioned yeah us yeah. staffing basically they also want to earn something right so they have to choose any other thing uh, yes. yeah so yeah it also depends like how much support you have from the family so for me uh, they like when i came to bangalore it was very easy for me because my aunt and brother was already here so okay. i didn't have to look for uh, where i have to stay uh, what i had to eat uh, and because yeah back support was from my brother and my aunt so that really helped me to, to take my decisions and uh, take time to decide and to follow my passion basically and still they uh, support me so i'm really thankful because nowadays to my like, parents nowadays as you mentioned you got some family member to support you from back yeah but wo sab cheeze aajkal nahi chalte bahut kam jagah pe dikhne ko milta hai like family pressure hi karti hai that do this do yeah. that and it's not about the family it's about a society as well the society we are living in it's very a uh, cringe society i can say it's very cringe society we are living in uh, they just want to interfere in your life they don't want you to see grow that's it so parakshit aap hame ye bataiye agar hamare viewers ko aana hoga is field pe so kya aap suggest karenge unko so uh, i'll say first uh, basically they have to do the graduation in science mostly they can do research in any field even though in uh, political science or social science they can do the research mm-hmm. so i'll, I'll uh, say about uh, science because i have an idea about that particular field how they how the people goes into research field so you have to first you have to complete the basic education like graduation and if we are in a uh, engineering fields then mostly i'll uh, for mechanical it's very easy to switch into different fields uh, that everyone knows about that even though electrical even though uh, electrical they have little less chances but compared to mechanical they can switch in different careers very easily uh, because if you see their curriculum it's very different from mm. uh, they have more, they'll study different things in their syllabus like they study about accounts as well they study about little bit about uh, electrical civil and also programming c so that helps you to stand out from other uh, core departments and uh, about research i'll say you have to go for the first preference will be given to the master students so you have to do the masters mm. and then do some research work like uh, the 6 month of your uh, second year of masters or maybe you can say last 6 month of your masters will be you have to do the th- thesis work mm-hmm. like project thesis work that you have to do it properly make a connection with the uh, professor or different professor or like your seniors where they are now connect with them and do the good research work even though it's a basic research it will really help you to join in the research field mm-hmm. and also read more about the Mm, what you want to do like nanomaterials or nanotechnology then read about that like have some knowledge about that then what are the future uh, technologies are coming up in that uh, field you should have the knowledge about that the like basic knowledge not you have to be the you don't have to be the expert no one is expert in this world mm-hmm. so uh, if you and in the research field the best thing is you work in a lab where you have a uh, people from every different areas. Uh, different areas so that really helps in a research good research labs that how is works mm-hmm. those people are from different uh, field they come together and then they work on a, some very good projects okay. yeah and uh, just let me know ki kya challenges aate hain researchers ke life mein uh so i'll say about india the salary we are getting in the researcher is very low as of now compared to IT yeah. job I I'll come to I'll come to salary point also just okay. let me <laughs> I'll say yeah that is one of the like uh, it is very difficult to uh, support financially to your uh, family mm-hmm. that is a very difficult part uh, but in my case it is like uh, as i mentioned i have a support from my brother and my aunt and and my family is pretty good mm-hmm. uh, so they have a back support so uh, that inspired me to follow my passion Uh, i'm happy what i'm doing and also i'm not just going behind the rat race rat race of bangalore no because nowadays what happened people are going 
लाइक पैसे के पीछे या मोस्टली या एवरी वन इज फॉलोइंग बिहाइंड द गोइंग बिहाइंड द पैकेज बट इफ यूल सी द मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल आर जस्ट इन इन इफ आई गिव द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट सो दे आर वेरी इट इज़ वेरी स्ट्रेसफुल एंड दे आर डूइंग द सेम रूटीन जॉब एवरी डे एंड सीट इन फ्रंट ऑफ डेस्क फॉर एट टू टेन आवर्स विच इज डिफरेंट इन माई केस आई डोंट हैव टू सीट इन फ्रंट ऑफ डेस्क फॉर लॉन्ग आवर्स आई डोंट हैव रूट आई डोंट हैव टू डू द रूटीन जॉब सो वी स्टडी अबाउट द मटेरियल्स एंड वी स्टडी देयर प्रॉपर्टीज लाइक डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज so that is really uh, enjoyable in the lab and i we have different projects from uh, p- public sector also from private sectors and so i am currently uh, i am working on four different projects mm-hmm. so uh, that is helping me to explore different areas and i have a control over different and also i am getting a different knowledge from different people because i am working in a team oh. and those are from different background so i am working with a person who is biochemistry and i am working one of the team member he is from electronics and uh, mass communication electronics and communication and one is from environmental science and i am from mechanical i am i am an engineer mechanical so we know how to do the do the research and how to come up with the new product and we have a really good uh, culture in my uh, research lab yeah and i am getting much better uh, salary compared to other research lab what they are paying in india so in that case yeah i am happy as of now i don't know about the future <laughs> so of course ab just ek chik kuch thoughts de dijiye hamare viewers ko jo aapko acha lage kuch acha positive jo log bhi stand le apne future mein so i'll say like uh, if you have back support from your family then definitely follow your passion but sometimes it's very difficult for people are coming from like uh i am from a to- uh, tier 3 colleges mm. so if someone is coming from tier 3 colleges or engineering colleges or something so it will be very difficult for them to get a job then connect with the people like minded people in linkedin use uh, learn how to use linkedin properly uh use uh, internshala nokri properly and it, that really helped me to get my first job so that's why i'm sharing with you all and uh, i'll say uh i am not on facebook and instagram so that is one of the thing that you can reject that things from your life <laughs> that will really help you i am only in whatsapp and uh, linkedin you can see me active there okay, most so of the time i am not using any social media like uh, in my second year of btech i have deleted all of them okay. all of my accounts right. uh, so that really helps me because i am not wasting time on uh, screen because that is one of the distraction in the current uh scenario or current current generation is having that uh, problem of distract getting distracted from uh you by using social media or something okay. and uh, you should talk to yourself understand yourself that is one of the thing that one should do in their life mm-hmm. yeah so parakshit bahut acha laga aapse baat karke bahut hi acha laga aapne jo thoughts share kiye hai wo bahut hi acha tha और जो हमारे व्यूअर्स है कुछ ना कुछ उन लोग को आइडिया आपके थॉट से पक्का मिलने ही वाला है सो अलविदा लेते हैं सो अलविदा अलविदा लेते हैं आपसे ऑलरेडी बहुत सारा टाइम ले चुका हूँ आपका थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सो आई होप ये वीडियो आप लोगों के लिए हेल्पफुल होगा एंड अगर आपको और भी कुछ जानकारी चाहिए एज ए रिसर्च एज ए रिसर्चर मैं उनका परीक्षित का Uh, जो लिंक इन है वो मैं ये यूट्यूब के कमेंट सेक्शन और डिस्क्रिप्शन में मेंशन कर दूंगा जो आप उनसे कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं एंड उनसे बातचीत कर सकते हैं और उनसे जानकारी ले सकते हैं इफ़ यू वांट टू कम टू दैट एरिया एंड थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग मिड नाइट टू माई स्टोन आई होप ये वीडियो बहुत ही हेल्पफुल होगा आपके लिए एंड प्लीज़ डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल